Hi, this is Jim Cook from techvids.com. Today I'm going to show you how to run an X11 Windows application from a Linux machine but with the application windows presented on your MacBook. The first thing we need to do is grab a hold of a copy of um, a program called XCourts. In the olden days, Macs used to come with X11 installed on it, but now you actually have to download a little program called XCourts. This is pretty easy. You just find your way to www.xcourts.org and you just down this, uh, download this DMG file. And when it's downloaded, you simply install it into your Mac and we will pick it up from there. So now that you've downloaded and installed this XCourts program, let's go and find it. It's, it's located in the Applications folder and in the Utilities subfolder. You will see at, uh, near the end is a program called XCourts. Just double click on it to start it. Um, you should see it running in the dock. So it's opened up an external, just close that. You don't need to do that. We'll just open up a regular terminal window and um, I'm just going to connect to a CentOS uh, virtual machine running on my Mac. Uh, so I'll SSH to it. And now the first thing we need to do is we need to install a little program called XAuth. This allows X11 forwarding. Um, there are other ways to do this, but what we're going to use is something called trusted X11 forwarding, which means you don't have to worry about firewall rules being burnt. It'll just tunnel its way through your SSH connection. So we just do yum minus Y install XAuth. And that should be pretty quick. There, it's done. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's just log out. And we're going to connect back again to this machine. And this time, instead of just doing a straight up SSH, we're going to use SSH minus capital Y. And the capital Y stands for Trusted X11 Forwarding. This means that it takes care of a lot of the authorizations for you. You don't have to set up uh, any special rules in any .x authority files or similar. You should, by rights, be able to run um, the X Windows programs straight from this um, VM right now. Now, um, as I said before, I have got X Courts running on this Mac already. It must be running. And without doing anything else, I can just start an X Windows application. So let's try X clock. Just remember I connected to this with minus Y for trusted X11 forwarding. So let's just have a crack at this and see what goes on. Bang, straight up. We have got our X clock um, appear on the screen. Uh, not very exciting, but um, there are better programs you might want to use. This is one of the programs that you really would want to use this technique for. It's called JConsole. If you ever trying to debug or troubleshoot a Java application on a remote Linux um, host in the cloud, you can have a real devil of a time trying to get through firewall rules and actually present the X11 window on your um, client machine simply because of X11 rules. And also you have to do some tricky stuff with setting up Java parameters allowing remote um, JMX connections. And there's a couple of others you need to set as well, including ports, and it gets a little bit tricky. What's really nice is as long as I've connected to this uh, Linux host in the same way, I can just go right ahead and start that J console program straight from that Linux command line and bang it appears straight up on my screen and I can collect I can connect to um, a local process or I can actually use local host under the remote I could I could quite easily add here local host and then pop in the port number of where the JMX is presented from and you have got instant J, J console connectivity to your Java application. Right, I hope you found this uh, little video useful. Just please um, check out any of my other videos on tech, techvids.com. 
and follow me on Twitter. The link is at the bottom of the screen here on the right and it's also on my website. Look forward to you catching up with my stuff in the future.